Can Harley Reid save the West Coast Eagles? Yo, what is good and welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Bud and thank you for coming through yet again. Before we get into it, make sure to leave a like on this video, show your support and as well if you are new to subscribe to the channel. We're slowly closing down 5k and the best thing is it doesn't even cost anything at all to subscribe. So what are you waiting for? Anyway, as we know, the West Coast Eagles in real life are sitting 18th, so they're in a lot of trouble at the moment. As of right now, West Coast still hold pick one, so it only makes sense to bring in the highly regarded Harley Reid into the West Coast Eagles and try and win them a premiership. So without wasting too much time, let's head over into AFL 23. So here we are over in management mode on AFL 23. And there we are, the West Coast Eagles. We're going to simulate through. It's obviously pre in round one. And on our roster, as you can see, number four, there is Harley Reid, uh, 90 overall. So he's coming into the league fairly strong. So the goal is we have three seasons to get West Coast this premiership. It's going to be built around Harley Reid. So hopefully he can bring success to the West Coast Eagles. Holy shit. Oh my God, this game. I was going to simulate 20-minute quarters, but... um. Uh, yeah, we won't be doing that. 328 plays 210. All right, here we are, take two. Changed it to 10 minute quarters now. As we said, Harley Reid should be still on the team, as we can see, number four, Harley Reid. There he is, and uh, preseason game number one against the Blues. Let's simulate this. There we go, a lot more realistic result there. 74 plays 118. We do unfortunately take the loss. There we go, Harley Reid starting in the midfield for us this season. We have, unfortunately, Oscar Allen got injured throughout the preseason, so uh, brought in Bailey Williams to play center half for now. There we go, unfortunately, we go down by seven points in the end against North Melbourne. Kanga, Kanga, Kanga! Reed, Reed, Reed. It was a close contest throughout. And uh, Harley Reid ended up with two goals for the match. But as we see, he got somehow, he got 64 disposals. <laughs> you know, he's a leading disposal getter for the league at the moment. So we get our first win. There we go, round three against Freeman. Also, the Western Derby. We finally get a win on the board. Here we are. We're at the mid-season point for the season. And boy, oh boy, we fell off the cliff big time there. We're sitting on the bottom of the ladder equal with Adelaide. Disposal wise, Harley Reid is in fourth place for us, so he's definitely getting plenty of the footy. And then goal kick is his third, so he definitely is carrying this team, but he probably does need a little bit of help at the moment. And with the last game of the year, we finish 17th. So equal last with the Bombers, which I didn't really expect based off percentage, but uh, we'll take it. It is a win at the moment, it is progress from where West Coast currently is. And that tastes like promotion! Yeah! So Harley Reid has made an impact for season one. If we have a look at the statistics, Harley Reid comes in fourth place. He didn't play all 23 games. He obviously, he got injured and missed three weeks in his first year. And disposal wise, he came third. So had the ball on a string, especially for his first year. And he's probably taking home the Rising Star Award because he also led us in tackles for the season. So the bull for the West Coast Eagles is definitely Harley Reid and he was equal, oh he's actually equal third in our clearances as well. If we have a look at the Brownlow votes, McCluggage wins the Brownlow by one and Harley Reid not far off it. He's got 16 votes for the season and there we go, Harley Reid taking home the Rising Star Award, 51 votes, so won it pretty convincingly in the end, so well done to him. The All Australian team. Pretty stiff not to make it. Our only player making it is Jeremy McGovern. Is there potential overall between 93 and 99 overall? So you know we have to sign this guy back up to the West Coast Eagles. He's probably our million dollar man, and that is what we're going to offer him in this contract. Contract extension though, we've only got two more years left to get a premiership for this team. So we're going to let him deliver within those two years. Like I said, it's going to be a tough ask, but anything can happen. We're going to submit that offer, and Harley Reid has rejected our offer Aww. as he desires more years to the contract, so I guess we're going to have to add a few more years onto the contract. We've offered a few more years, and there we go. Harley Reid has accepted your offer. Nice. And he's looking forward to play with the West Coast Eagles for another six years. So if we have a look at Season 2, Harley Reid has gone up from a 90 to a 91 for Season 2. Unfortunately, we were unable to do any off-season trades, so it could be another rough year. So here we are, Round 1 for the West Coast Eagles Season 2. And as you can see, Harley Reid is now the chosen captain of the club. 
He's in season two and he's already a born leader and you do expect that from him coming into the real life situation of the West Coast Eagles if he does go there. He do have a tough task ahead. We do have Max Gorn and the Demons do actually hold a loss for the first game of season two, which is unfortunate. So here we are, we're halfway through season two and we're actually in the top eight, six overall. We're on 24 points equal with Essendon, so Essendon's obviously jumped up from Season 1 as well. If we have a quick look at the statistics, Harley Reid's actually fallen off a little bit. He's 6th in the disposal getters. Goal kickers, Harley Reid is 5th for us with 11. Clearances, he's in 3rd place, which is elite for us. We do love that so far. But right now, we're really in consideration to making the top 8 and playing finals football in Season 2. So we're sitting 10th right now, just outside the top 8. We have 3 games left in season two um, but if we go down Harley Reid is injured which really kills us here but hopefully we can get a few wins so then we can go into the top eight and we do we get a big win against St Kilda there West Coast Eagles. currently in the top eight this is going to be a close finish we really need to beat Carlton here if we can beat Carlton here they're sitting fifth we can pretty much steal their spot so this is a huge game for us here and we do we get a big win against the Blues West Coast Eagles. Here we go against the Tigers, and we lose. Wow, we we lose there. They retain top of the spot. I'm pretty sure they're undefeated. What are they on? 80 points, Richmond. That is ridiculous. Against the Hawks, and we do get the win. West Coast Eagles. And the West Coast Eagles will be playing finals football in season 2024. And we will be coming up against Collingwood who finished 7th. Goal kickers Harley Reid kicked 17 for the season. Not too bad of an effort. He obviously played 20 matches yet again out of 23, so injuries have bugged him a little bit from reaching his full potential. Disposal-wise, he finished 4th with 811. Had the ball on a string. Tackles, he was 3rd for us. 44 tackles, beautiful work there. Clarence says he finished with 17, so 3rd. Equal third with Petrocelli on that occasion. And here we go. Elimination game against Collingwood. Can we take home the chocolates? Harley Reid v Nick Dacos. And West Coast get home convincingly against Collingwood. What a win. West Coast Eagles. By the Eagles. Oh my. This could actually turn into reality. Now we have a tough matchup against the Demons. Here we go. A massive game. Reid v Gorn. West Coast Eagles get absolutely flogged. in the semi-final. And that is going to end our season right there. The Demons take us out in season two. Aww. Here we go, season three, the final season we have for Harley Reid to bring home a Premiership Cup for the West Coast Eagles. So Harley Reid was a 90 in season one, a 91 in season two, and now he has progressed up to a 92 for season three. So can that be the difference where he can lead the West Coast Eagles onto a Premiership flag? So we're at the halfway point of our final season. We're currently sitting 10th, so one game outside of the eight. And Harley Reid, this is his eighth consecutive week where he has missed. He's been injured. But the West Coast Eagles, they've gone in a bit of a slump where they lost three or four games. But they are back and they're on a four-game win streak. And we have the Fremantle Dockers up next. Hopefully, Harley Reid comes back sooner rather than later because we definitely do need him. All right, here we go. It's round 19. This is what's happened. He came back at round 15, played round 15, got injured straight away. And now it's round 19. He's finally available to come back into the side. And we get a big win against the Dogs there. Elite. West Coast Eagles. Against Gold Coast, we must win the game. And we do. West Coast Eagles. Here we go. The last round of the season to knock Sydney out. We versus a 17th place St Kilda. 48 points. We're on 46. We need to win this game. It all comes down to this. Harley Reid. Can you do it, son? And we do. West Coast Eagles. We get the win convincingly too. Sydney also get the win and so do Geelong. And we finished ninth in our final year as the West Coast Eagles. Absolute heartbreak there. And if we have a look at the statistics, it doesn't help. He played only 11 games for the season. He was injury prone. He did finish with 16 goals, which is a solid effort as a midfielder. Disposal wise, he was in our top 10, 534. Unfortunately, Harley Reid was not able to carry the West Coast Eagles to a premiership within the three seasons. 
We do finish ninth. We did make finals within our second season, which was a win in itself. That is all. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you guys do enjoy this content. Make sure to leave a like on the video and support the channel, because I do appreciate it. And if you are new, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. West Coast Eagles.